Dear loved ones, I'm so happy that you're here. Do you know how special you are? And do you know how much appreciation that all the soul that come across your path feel for you? <laughs> if you come to my channel for the first time, you're welcome. Here is my Buddha. I'm happy to share with you wisdoms along my spiritual healing path to assist you to heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And if you have been watching my video, thank you so much to coming along. It's always wonderful to have you. And every time when you watch the video, you are receiving an energetic transmission. It's not only about the words coming out from my mouth. That's probably only 5 to 15%. But it is the vibrational frequency that I share with you. And whatever I personally have in healing, along my healing journey, and I'm helping you to heal that part of you as well because we're all connected wherever you are in this vast universe. So we have been coming to the wonderful place to establish a new healing program that is to heal ourselves energetically through the teaching of the concept of the chakras connecting with our last step healing our ancestral womb and family patterns we related to our root chakra and our sense of belonging you know that you are a complete miracle okay what are the chance for you to even show up <laughs> Not only as this magnificent being, but also at this pivotal moment of the time of human history, you're going to witness such a great shift energetically, spiritually, and you being you are already, that is already the mission, okay, you're carrying out. So it doesn't matter what that what had happened in your past and you will know that everything happened for a reason every single difficulty every spiritual teacher that sent to your way to assist your ascension was perfectly planned everything is perfect okay <laughs> and then you and you are designed completely perfectly just as you are the way you look your body how you move and your vibration coming out from your voice and the sense of smile you have whenever you have eye contact with another soul and this is electricity <laughs> <laughs> connecting both of you and the way you touch other soul everything is perfect okay <laughs> you might feel a sense of anxiety or lost anticipating this huge shift for humanity for the jump of the collective consciousness is absolutely normal we call this ascension symptoms you may experience um, some grinding your teeth at night or intense vivid dreams or some kind of information download just when you're going about in your day and 
or you feel your gun hurts a bit, um, you have itchy eyes. There are many, many symptoms. And even the way you eat, suddenly you feel that you just wanted to eat much less for no reason, okay? You realize that you don't need so much. And then sometimes you feel this, uh, uh, you feel this uh, rejection with some kind of contents when you uh, scrolling through social media or some platform and you just you can tell with your instinct okay with your higher self you can tell that by consuming some kind of content you're going to force to drop your vibrational frequency and that is the entire whole whole game okay so what happened is that um, things comes hand in hand during the massive shift energetically, spiritually, there are always circumstances, events, like world in the world uh, context, context, okay, to make you feel uh, really depressed somehow worrying or feel a bit of hopelessness and this is all completely normal in fact it is because of all this event the worldly event think about the think about the 2020 <laughs> think about all the wave of spiritual awakening since uh, as early as um, that's very, very early, okay? But the last few weeks from 2009, 2012, 2017, 19, 20, and then it just spit, like it just accelerates. <laughs> and you feel that, wow, the sense of time completely changed. It has nothing to do with aging, okay? <laughs> of course, <laughs> because you are um, upgrading to a different level of vibrational frequency. And there you experience time completely differently. I think saying that uh, one day in heaven is one year on earth. <laughs> so it could be so many things happen and so many waves of darkness of soul already happen in your energetic body. But everything on the surface looks so peaceful it's just like normal everyday life but deep down in your heart you have journeyed thousands of miles okay that is the new pilgrimage not in the physical world but when you go within and you're able to be at different places at the same time you're able to experience that location that culture that lesson that teaching sometimes through simply just in contact with the people from that places or sometimes with circumstance always the perfect divine plan okay <laughs> sometimes you can be just uh, watching a video of some places you can already astral travel there so wow, what an incredible time and how lucky we are and how, how grateful we should feel to be at this moment on earth. And you doing the work, meaning that you start realize that it is time and you are capable to heal yourself and you commit to look within and you start questioning all the uh, the norm of value or uh, what is supposed to be influencing us the mass media or this war view you start question all of them and you start be able to uh, raise to a higher vantage point to see everything uh, with a sense of compassion. And also you feel so 
patient already okay you feel that mm, it's all okay like everyone is okay for everyone to make mistakes it's also okay for you to make mistakes and it's not only for this life you feel uh, grateful to to have the lesson from some souls that you have encountered again and again in the past lifetime therefore you just you don't get upset anymore okay <laughs> even if you see some um uh, negative thoughts towards you or attempt or body language or you can see the shadow in someone and because of this compassion and empathy raised up inside you suddenly things just soften, soften up and you no more think about another being is higher or lower anymore it doesn't matter how much hurt that person has or how much darkness uh, inside their energetic field, you realize that this person is part of you. It's like this person is part of your own, this part, how can you get mad at that, you know? And when, when you have also, when you see all these other beings and you see their um, uh, attitude or, uh, decision they make or behavior and you start looking at them as little kids you know like uh, three years so oh they're so cute it's all right you know they will learn oh, over lifetimes you feel so much patient for that and even sometimes when you feel that oh it's hard to feel a sense of belonging but the fact is that the truth is that you actually at the same time feel a strong sense of belonging to everywhere and that is why you don't belong to one specific place and the way you vibrate it's at such a high vibration frequency so much love that you're able to uh, make a quantum entanglement with most of so lots of them who come across your path and, mm -hmm. and then they first time by feeling this kind of vibration we see they were just uh bath in love okay this really really soothing feeling and they're so no so they're so long for all this okay so along your path whatever location you have moved around and somehow you can just feel that you belong there from the first moment you feel that the people how they treat you that they will let you feel that they see the god inside you and because of how they treat you and you also see the god inside yourself and then you realize that actually it is everything happened at the same time because you're able to see the God inside yourself that's why you see everyone as God and when all the gods are interacting with each other what are the problems <laughs> you know <laughs> there's absolutely no problems of course you start thinking about different oppositional uh, force in the world let me tell you there are no oppositional party whatsoever okay it's the same thing the same um game plan and um, happening during the massive uh, massive shift this ascension of consciousness of course there needs to be a balance so we see uh, the darkness we see this things play out the intensity the brutality um but it only means that they're invisible force that is so positive and bright that um, that's not what we can read on the news. You can feel that in your heart, okay? So um, be more detached from that. Like you understand that uh, this politics is just one one aspect of the darkness play out. 
we also understand that there are also, also no oppositional countries. There, there are no, no. <laughs> I remember um, someone mentioned to me a few days ago about uh, USA and China are in a civil war. <laughs> I cannot agree more. I wish more people understand this, okay? You understand that um, all the force, they would know no fighting. All the force, they, they actually they all work together, but they have to look like they are um, dividing. So then the people underneath it, they start feeling this, you know, they start taking sides, <laughs> divide and rule, yeah? But still, don't feel so stressed about it because there's also absolutely no separation, um, no opposition force between the West and East, absolutely no, okay? And uh, all you raise up to high is high and then you think, okay, there's only oppositional force of um, all the people in the world and all the governments in the world. Yeah, that's, that's already pretty good and um, however, we can still think about that governmental structure as some unhealed wound inside our body, inside ourselves. Like we had this tendency to uh, wanted to control. Uh, we had greed. We wanted to um, power play, and you know, and you have to also address that inside yourself, and then understand that okay. This is only part of the human evolution, okay? All the things, the intensity we experience, we read about, it will all, this all shall pass. And it will be, there will be more intensity come in the coming weeks and months. From now on, it's just, it's like a roller coaster, okay? Emotional roller coaster. That is why it's so important for you to turn within, to ground yourself. When you are able to sink your energy, feel that you are a mountain. When you are able to stretch the time, feel the sense of um, timelessness, you will understand what it means about the mountain formation time. And you are forming this massive, gigantic, beautiful mountain right now with all your energy and for that you're going to completely shake up the the earth create a new continents and new formations and new life life forms uh, ecosystems around you this is how powerful you are it is not there's no coincidence for you to re this message because my message is only allowed to share with a very, very, very small group of people. <laughs> so I believe that if you get to uh, hear and receive this message, that means that you are carrying out the same mission that I'm doing and we are linking, syncing <laughs> the vibrational frequency. I am so excited. This is a quantum jump and I cannot wait to see what is to come, really, like what kind of a wonderful, beautiful future this energetic connection can create and how much we're going to uplift our entire environment and, and the whole earth. So really, Remember and focus on how special, powerful, and beautiful you are. Take one step at a time, heal a little bit more every day, and with hope, with faith, together we're going to make it. Much love.